Look, it's the Enterprise. Yes, just beyond that enormous sleeping dragon. The dragon is not our concern. We have come for the airship and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Enterprise and prepare it for launch. Sophie, you stay here and keep an eye on the beast. If it wakes, we may need you to provide a distraction until we're ready to depart. You can manage that, can't you? That settles it then, shall we, Sid? As you command. Uh-oh. So, you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting. Most interesting. And you are aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous primal conquests? A testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers, the Ixil are nothing if not zealous. In spite of your past achievements, I labor to believe that you will best this foe. Yet, only a fool would underestimate the great bringer of light, slayer of Ifrit, Bane of Titan. If any mortal is capable of defeating the Lady of the Vortex, it is you. Win or lose, the battle should at least make for an entertaining spectacle. Assuming, of course, you lived that long. Alphano the dragon. Confound it all. Let us see how well your blasphemous gifts serve you this time, Crystal Bearer. Okay, so we're going to be fighting this big blue dragon. This is actually a pretty cool fight. He, um, he will go up in the air at different points and spit ice down on you and you have to dodge it. It's pretty fun. I usually like to angle my camera up like this. Kind of like a Diablo style, so that you can see where the ice is going to fall. You'll see here in a second. So he goes up in the air. And then, oh, he's going right down the middle. And then he'll only do it one time on the very first one. As a tank, you want to try to position him someplace where everybody's not at. And position yourself so that he's going to knock you back into the wall so that he turns to face you because he'll do his ice breath like almost right away. Just a little, just a little pro tip for you guys from having done this fight many, many times. Many, 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 many times. I know the camera angle is great, you guys are probably loving this. This is the most exciting fight for you to watch, I'm sure. You can't see anything going on with any of my teammates at all. But that's okay.
Okay, he's now this time he's gonna spit ice down first in small circles like that. Actually, the closer you can stay to other teammates, so that it's all like in one block is best. Oh snap, I'm gonna get hit. Yep, oh that wasn't good. Alright, and then he's all the way over there. So we we'll position ourselves over here. Ugh, so rough. Oh wow, I turned him really wrong. Okay, well that's fine. Now you can see the fight. I'm gonna try to move him because that shoot ice there. Try to help that dragoon out some. There we go. Yay, the dragoon did limit break. I kind of want to give it to the Dragoon for doing Limit Break, to be honest, but I, uh, yeah, we're just gonna let it go. Sophie, Sophie, are you all right? Speak to me. Twelve be praised. I fear the beast had injured you. I see now why the others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of that etheric bubble with the dragon, I was all but certain my next mission would be to find a new champion. Thank the gods for sparing me that inconvenience. I have quite enough to do already, which reminds me, Sid is working on the Enterprise as we speak. Let us go and see what he has to say. I like how he can, like, be thankful for you surviving and still sound like a jerk, right? Like, whew, you living saved me a lot of trouble. What say you, Sid? Will she fly? Yes, though it will not be a pleasant ride.
Well, I dare say it will be no more unpleasant than staying here. Tis a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state, but if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If we are all in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though I would like nothing more than to set course for the Howling Eye, it is plain the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be repaired if we are to proceed with our mission. This is all so familiar. I... I know this airship. If I could just... Ah, it's no use. Let's go. longed for more agreeable climate of the Twelveswood. Yet, I will not deny the Holy See had its charms. Endless detours aside, our Ishgardian jaunt proved quite an adventure. Alas, our work is far from done. We still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, eh? It calls me to look at her, as though I've been reunited with the part of me I never knew was missing. Hardly surprising, you did design and build her. I bear good news. The Seed Seers have granted our request to house the Enterprise. We may take as long as we require to repair her. Of course, it would be rank folly to take one moment more than we require. Garuda, lest we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we are to have any hope of wrestling this benign realm from her talons, it must needs be soon. Though I am no expert on the workings of airships, it seems plain to me that the Enterprise suffered much from her time in the wilderness. Am I not correct, Sid? You are. Frankly, it's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is encircled by a raging tempest, apt to turn proud trees to matchwood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Given time, I believe I can fully repair her. But if this tempest is as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. Ah, confound it. There must be a way. A way to brave the fury of the elements? The elements. But of course, that's it. We work upon the element itself, using the power of a corrupted crystal we could clear a path through the storm and spare the Enterprise a battering. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the elemental aspect of the barrier. It seems so childishly simple in retrospect. Though mayhap not to you, Sophie. We speak of the manifestations of over-aspected aether that can be found throughout Eorzea. Since the calamity disrupted the land's aetheric currents, 
such crystals have become comparatively commonplace, which has been a cause of great woe, as they are known to warp etheric energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we could theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind-aspected aether com uh, comprising Garuda's barrier into aether of another aspect, one she cannot control. With certain modifications, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort, however hard Garuda blows. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. All of this rests upon your ability to procure a crystal with the necessary properties. Have you any idea where we might acquire one? No, but I know a man who might. A scholar by the name of Lambertine, who resides in Camp Drybone. Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marquis met him, I suppose. Whether out of pity or out of want for a more willing listener, he would talk to me for hours at a time about his etheric studies, corrupted crystals being his pet subject. It was as a result of these conversations that poor Marquis was observed to possess an uncommon knack for theoretical science. Sophie, I need you to return to Thanalan and seek out the scholar. Sid and I will set about repairing the Enterprise in your absence. Now you're going to help him repair it, huh? I'm sure you will. Alright, well I guess I'm heading to Thanalan then. So our scholar is right here. Hmm? Why yes, I am Professor Lambertine. Beg pardon? You wish to hear about my research on corrupted crystals? Truly? Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to discuss my work with a fellow woman of science. I am not really a woman of science. Ah, so rare it is to find uh, fellow intellectuals in this region. Tis even rare to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. Come to think of it, there was another, a uh, hermit, who, um, whom um, the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow, unsociable, rather daft at first impression, yet possessed an amazing affinity towards the scientific pursuits. But to the matter at hand, did you say you wish not to conduct field observations? But to harvest a corrupted crystal. Egaz, woman! At least take the necessary precautions so you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I am beginning to wonder if you have sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. Luckily for you, I have precisely the means by which these <clears throat> by which these inherent dangers may be averted. Simply store the crystal you seek within this warded pot to protect, pr uh, to protect yourself from its deleterious effects. Though I suppose you will be bombarded with its energies until you place it within the vessel. Well, perhaps it is it shall motivate you to work qu quickly. In any case, take the pot to Hahasako, a student of mine monitoring the flow of aether at Highbridge. Explain to him your quest, and he shall instruct you in the finer points of crystal harvesting. Fun little tidbit, they actually made you used to have to go get the pot. And you had to like run to, um, over to gold, to the golden bazaar? Yeah, up this place up here. You had to used to like run up here to get a pot, and then bring it back, and then he would like put this coating on it and then send you to go the next step. So they just took a step out, basically. So if you look there, all that glowing rock, that's Corrupted Aetherite. You've seen it before in other zones as we've been playing, but we're about to get a very close introduction to it. But it's actually kind of cool that it's been there the whole time and it's just looked like a nice little um, scenery aspect. But, like, it's a whole actual part of the game. How many times must... Oh, the fate's up. 
Ooh, this is that one I was talking about. How many times must I be made to explain myself? I am not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I have chosen this precise position to perform scientific measurements. What have we here? A containment vessel? Why, this is the handiwork of Professor Lambertine. You thieving knave, I shall call the I shall call for the Oh, you say the man himself lent it to you. Then you must be sought you must have sought me out with his instruction. Which means he believes my me experienced enough to expound upon his explanations. At last, the recognition I so rightly deserve. Oh, fabulous day, Kalu Kale, that I should be chosen to guide this woman. Yes, I, Hahasako, greatest of Professor Lambertine's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your quarry. Your timing is impeccable, in fact, for I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall for my personal research. There, the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with a bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that not but a perfect piece will satisfy your standards. In which case, you must needs descend to the deepest depths amidst the flowing waters and the murderous mirror nights lies the most fantastic formation I have found thus far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it to separate a small fragment from the large cluster. Place it within the warded pot and bear it back to me for inspection. The path which leads from Burgundy Falls to the base of the Burning Wall is treacherous and terrifying, but advance with appropriate caution and you shall surely survive. 